Good evening, everyone. Welcome on a Saturday night. It is a championship in the finale of the 2013 girls Fulton County basketball. And live tonight from Spudover Valley, along with Bob Wagner, I'm Leon River and Bixler Video Production. We got Rowdy, she's our engineer, back to the studios. We got our usual cast. We're ready to roll for championship night tonight. And the third game, Lewistown captured that 61-46 over Farmington. So Lewistown finishes at two and two. The is a disappointing one and three. Uh, coming up, it's the matchup: the Canton Lady Giants, the home team tonight for South Fulton Lady Rebels as well, 3-0, to start the uh, county girls' basketball season. Brought to you tonight, our pregame show by Chuck Taylor State Farm Insurance, financial services in Canton. For mutual funds, life and health, let's call Chuck at 647-8544. I think it's where, I guess, most of us thought coming in when you got the game on a Saturday night, the finale, it's penciled in as the Canton-South Fulton. I think a lot of folks would be the game and we are assured of that uh, again for I believe this is like the uh, fourth year in a row uh, when we talk about the, the matchup uh, Canton South Fulton uh, can't trying to go uh, three straight and prior to that South Fulton had won the uh, prior two so you know who's in the cards tonight it's a good matchup here Bob between South Fulton and the Canton Lady Giants it is you know both teams can score on the inside both teams can score on the perimeter I think what it boils down to is what we saw a really good indicator last night and that's, you know, transition basketball. And I think that full court press and man-to-man -man defense can make all the difference in the world tonight. When you take a look at South uh, Fulton, we'll take a look at, uh, of course, uh, Katie Perry leads the way. We'll talk a little bit more about Chloe Churchill, on the other hand, for the Lady Giants. But it's, it is uh, the supporting cast for both these teams will be keys to the game as we continue. We'll take a first time out. Lady Giants basketball for you coming up. We're streamed online, 1560, WPY.com. Bob and I will have more on our pregame show right after this quick 60-second timeout. Helping bring you this event, Spoon River Animal Clinic. Comprehensive care when it's needed most. By CD Country 107.9, your new home in the country. The Clayburg Fulton County Nursing Center, serving Fulton County since 1969. Spoon River Home Health, and by quality disposal and quality roll-off. By Modern Health Fitness Center, located on East Chestnut Street on the east side of Canton. By Spoon River Hearing Services, located inside the Graham Medical Building. By Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. We're about uh, six and a half away from the tip-off on a Saturday night. A little late in getting started, but nonetheless, Lewistown in the third-place game. War Warners, 61-46 uh, over Farmington. Matchup before Bob and I in the call tonight. Camp taking on South Fulton. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Coach Langhoff in his ninth year. 3-0 to start the season. Uh, Canton opens up on Monday night. They got a win over North Fulton, 71-22. Also on Tuesday night, beat Lewistown, 73-58. And, of course, uh, last night, 68-40 winners over Farmington. Uh, of course, uh, Chloe Churchill's had games 25, 22, and last night, 24. But it has been eight, nine players in scoring each of those nights, Bob. And that's, that's going to pay, I think, not only dividends down the season, but definitely here tonight. It's going to be one of the telling factors. We get that kind of production from eight and nine scores in the game tonight. Well, I will. I mean, when you can get, when you can rely on many people, you know, to put points in the basket and contribute, you know, it makes all the difference in the world. The other thing about it, you know, I look at what it does to the opponent. It makes it three times harder to who to guard and to be successful in trying to win that game. Free throw attempts in the three games so far, 101 attempts, Whoa. 67 makes, 66.3% attempts. Ooh. One of the key things, and I, and I point that out, and, and I know it's two things you look at, that a lot of fouls have been called for one, but the Lady Giants are getting into the paint. A lot of those have been called in the paint area, and that's, that's a key step, I think, in the early going, that this team is really concerned about getting the ball interior. Well, a lot of them haven't been perimeter fouls. You know, they're taking the defender, you know, to the basket off the dribble, and they're drawing contact and either going to the line for two or three-point play. So as far as penetration with the dribble, I really give the Lady Giants an A-plus so far. 
You look at uh, Sydney Schubert, she'll play the role tonight uh, off the bench. She and Sydney Wells, a couple of those gals, a little different. It's interchangeable parts with this uh, lineup. And you see tonight, uh, again, uh, Mel Turgeon gets a start tonight. Morgan Coomer will start. And again, it's one of those things that I think if you understand those roles, you really don't care who. You know you're going to get some minutes in the game, and that's going to be a key thing for this chemistry of this group to continue to grow. Right, and, you know, you mentioned the word role. You know, everybody's going to know what their role is. But one thing about it, Leon, you know as well as I do, you have to be willing to accept that role. And I think once you do that, it makes your team as a group that much more effective. Sal Fulton comes in. They're equal 3-0 and to start the season. Monday night, they beat Lewistown. I watched that game. 43-38, uh, numerous fouls were called in that game. And again, in fact, uh, South Fulton trailed in that game 25-22. Last couple of evenings, they've trailed heading into the at least the second half or even into the fourth quarter. They've been able to bounce back. It's been Kate Perry in double figures. Uh, Krause last night had the big game. Uh, again, uh, when you take a look at that balance, and they've had two or three. Guard has been slow coming up, but I thought she played a little bit better last night. And they have a pretty good... Again, triple combo, at least when you take a look at a triple, uh, at least a combination there for South Fulton in scoring. Well, we're going to see an interior threat, you know, like we did against the Lewistown Lady Indians. And I hope, you know, there's some lessons learned from that game, what Mallory Battlefield has done to us to be better prepared for a game like tonight. When you when you take a look at this uh, ball club, and Carl Beebe, the head coach, he's done a well, I think it's probably, if you look at all the schools other than Havana, I think the most improved program talk about in the Fulton County area and in the surrounding area. The number of wins consistently over the last seven, eight years turned around the program. They had a number of a couple of years there and, and they still got to the point now it's a different class they have to play in. But it was always Havana a few years ago. Now they kind of got by that. Now they're almost the kind of the team that kind of beat once you get into the regional and sectional. I agree. You know, both both schools have had their runs and you know I think both of them are still trying to maintain those runs. And when you've got that steady crop of incoming players and talent to go with it, you're always going to be a namesake as far as winning it all. You know, I, I take a look at this, and I and I saw Summer Brigard play towards the end of last year. And uh, coming in as a, a junior, she played in AAU's basketball. She's improved. She can go to her left. She can use her left hand side. Strong interior play. And, and I think, you know, I think she's going to be one of the keys. There, there's no doubt if we can keep her uh, points limited inside. Also, I think you take a look at the inside Kylie Krause with the three threat. You have Katie Perry, who kind of uh, is another intangible thing. She can score inside, outside combinations. But if all three of them, I, I think that's probably the only way that they can probably match the, the depth of the, the Lady Giants. Tonight. If all three of them have pretty good games tonight. Well, they're going to have to go, you know, at least 15 points apiece in my eyes, to, you know, to come out on top. But I think, you know, it's fine and dandy to sit here and say, you need to get 15, you need to get 15, you need to get 15, but you got to face the Lady Giant defense, a whole other animal. You, you think, I think nobody showed anything different other than zone against the Lady Giants. And just a little bit, it wasn't a lot. And, and, and I think for the most part, you take a look at that, we have the ability, and it's one of the things I think it's one of the key assets, we have the ability to put the ball on the floor when teams have shown shown those signs of playing zone against us. And that's why I mentioned you. Know, we take a good angles to get to the hoop. And that's just it, going to the basket and penetration with the dribble, you know, they don't realize what an asset that is against man-to-man -man or zone defense. We're getting close to the tip-off here tonight, about two minutes away. Bob Wagner, Leon Gruber with you, and Bixer Video Production on site as well, as our pregame show is brought to you by Chuck Taylor, State Farm Insurance, Financial Services in Canton, Mutual Funds, Life and Health Insurance, Chuck, Chuck at 647-8544. Starting lineups and the tip-off back to Spinner Valley High School, it's championship Tonight, the first place game on the line for the County Girls Tournament back in 60 seconds. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. By State Farm Insurance, your local agents, Chuck Taylor, Tom Conklin, Brian Yonts, and D. Clark. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By hy V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. The Little Giant Booster Club. Go Little Giants! By AM 1560 WBYS and simulcast at 93.7 FM. 
by Truman Cleaning. Your residential and commercial cleaning, everything we touch turns to clean. By Ipava State Bank with locations in Astoria, Ipava, Lewistown, and Canton. By Wesley United Methodist Church to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. We're getting ready to give you the starting lineup, so a quick reminder for you that'll be coming up uh, tomorrow, Sunday, November 24th. Monocle's Pizza and Kent will donate 20% of all sales to the American Red Cross from the tornado victims. And again, Jim Carter is doing that on his own. No other Monocle's uh, is doing that in the immediate area. And, uh, and I think it's one of the things that you see a lot of different uh, organizations and different folks in our immediate listing area have been able to uh, kind of step up and be able to do, Bob. And I, I think today you saw the uh, televised game, the ITSA televised game, a lot of the turnouts and uh, the impact uh, that the uh, community has had uh, through tragic uh, means of, uh, again, uh, a celebration of, uh, again, regrouping as a community and moving forward. Today was a big step toward that. They still have a, a, a lot of, uh, again, getting back to the homes, getting back to a kind of a normal life. But uh, but today was pretty special in the state of Illinois today. It certainly was. And, you know, after, uh, you know, the events that have happened, and, you know, the loss to a, a very solid Springfield Sacred Heart Griffin football team, you know, the main goal is to take those steps to get back to normalcy. Lineup for South Fulton has Katy Perry, the senior, also Kylie Krause, a junior. Also getting the start tonight will be the uh, sophomore, Hannah Krukwit. Uh, she is a sophomore, Abby Schaefer, a senior, and Summer Bagard as a junior will jump it up against the Lady Giants. Uh, it will be Katie Wilson, Morgan Coomer, Chloe Churchill, Mel Turgeon, and Mariah Hedges. Lady Giants will begin as they move directly to the north. This uh, side of the uh, Spoon River Valley Gymnasium, we're in the, again, a, a combination of the far end of the gymnasium here. And uh, when you take a look at it, we got a nice little view as they spread it out. Straight up man-to-man -man defense. Yep, they open up the man-to-man. -man. Turgeon out on the perimeter. Hedges swings it, but they play. They push you out above the arc with the three people, at least the two wings of the guard, down the lane off the glass. No good. Shot taken by Hedges. Rebound by South Fulton. They run it to the sideline. Catch there. Katie Perry picked up her dribble. Boy, they just draw like oh. magnets when they come yeah. to the defense, don't they? The yeah. ball goes to the sideline, and they, they really pressure the wings of the Lady Giants. Inside, shot off balance, no good. Who gets it? That is uh, inside and good uh, for South Fulton and a rebound put back by Schaefer. So that's an offensive board there by South Fulton. That would be a key if they hit the boards, and we're probably going to be prone to getting beat on the boards throughout this season. Yeah. There at three there, taken by Churchill. So South Fulton's up with a 2 0 lead at the 6.53 mark. Summer Bagard pull up jumper just off the elbow, right side of the lane, contact Churchill. Now regains the dribble across the timeline. In traffic, weaves her way down, lays it up and in. That's the way the Lady Giants get on the scoreboard at tie 2-2 at the 6.37 mark. I'm telling you right now, Coach BB is saying, you guys should know by now you cannot allow her to do that. It's easier said than done, isn't it? When you watch her, you turn your shoulder, and you think she's going to pass the ball, but she keeps it down the lane. Off-balance shot, no good by Perry. Outlet, somebody lost a headband. Morgan regroups. Churchill down the lane again. Left-handed hook shot oh. is good. That was a sweet-looking play there by the sophomore Chloe Churchill. She's got all the tools, man, I tell you what. And she is just impressive, to say the least. Each game we have seen her grow as a player. 4-2, to two, Lady Giants with the lead at the six-minute mark. Between the circle, Bagard down the lane. A little bit of contact there against Wilson. Split the defender's lane. I got caught with a reach-in. Again, for the Lady Giants... Their first team foul. First for Katie Wilson. I thought the actual foul came up the lane with, with before the uh, shot before was even the taken. Shot, that's what I thought. But we, I guess, were a continuation now. Something new that they have added to the rule again. And a free throw is no good by Bagard. Got that out of the NBA rule book, I do believe. I, One, two, skip a few, two. I've seen about five or six thousand games in high school and it's it gets ridiculous is they continue to add and change the rules at different times missed the free throw four to two i promise that's the only rant of the night <laughs> 552 uh, wing left hedges jumper is too strong rebound wilson battles on the boards fight for it in a tie up 
far end of the floor. Tie up that between Kraus and Wilson. The possession belongs to South Fulton. They're getting some loose balls. They're getting some rebounds, Bob, and that's why they are staying close early in this game here. Both teams playing pretty solid defensively. I-46, the inbounds. That's Perry to the backcourt. You haven't seen that second wave. The quicker people who come in and change the tempo of this game. That'll be a thing later in this quarter, we'll see. Kraus flips the pass underneath. Schaefer, good defense there by Morgan Coomer. Did a fabulous job underneath there. Held her position. Here's Churchill. Got away with carrying the basketball. A little bit off yeah. balance shot there by Chloe. And ill advised. That's the exact word there, Bob. Yep. 517 mark, 4 to 2. Here's Summer Bergard. Takes it strong down the lane. Ball tip Schaefer into the hands of Bergard. Puts it up. No good. Pound on the boards or South Fulton in the early going, but no reward. Both, both teams are not afraid to run. Turgeon takes it inside the earth and a good field goal there by Turgeon. Nice little 15 footer, Leon. One thing you need to get, uh, you know, Mel Turgeon has yet to be stepping up. I know she's dealing with some shin splints and some, at least, uh, at least the pain there is really bothering her in the early going. She'll have to play through it. Good defense by Turgeon. Try to grab the basketball, but a foul against uh, Mel. That's her first, second team foul against the lady against the uh, Lady Giants in the early going. It's not the most aggressive contact I've seen before to get a whistle blown, but hey. At the 443, and uh, South Fulton inbounds right in front of us. The inbounds, the ball deflected. Good job there by Coomer. Perry comes up with it for South Fulton. Out of the perimeter with the basketball. It's a uh, Witz. Bounce pass. Turn over by South Fulton. That's their first of the night. Laid out. Hedges off balance shot and, and he goes off the left side with a left handed shot. Good by Hedges. I just like seeing her have confidence, Leon, getting them, taking the ball to the hoop. I think, you know, in looking at the early going in flashes, that she is going to be a big, big part of what we do offensively, you know, this season. I think if she comes around, if she grows as the player, she can shoot outside, it is going to be a really big piece to this uh, basketball team. 429 remaining. And a timeout here from Spinner Valley. It's the Lady Giants 8 and South Fulton 2. Back with a quick 30-second timeout with Lady Giant basketball. Helping bring you this event, Spoon River Animal Clinic. Comprehensive care when it's needed most. By CD Country 107.9, your new home in the country. Rocket Tap. Located in Lewistown, check out our Facebook page for daily specials. The Clayburg Fulton County Nursing Center, serving Fulton County since 1969. Spoon River Home Health, and by quality disposal and quality roll-off. By Modern Health Fitness Center, located on East Chestnut Street on the east side of Canton. By Spoon River Hearing Services, located inside the Graham Medical Building. By Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. 8-2 with the Hedges trying to go for the three-point play, yeah. and Mariah got it down. One of one for the night. Well, it took him almost half the quarter to get our first free throw. So that's it's a little bit it's under our start. average. Under our average oh. attempt. Steele, Churchill splits the defenders. Nice moves. Crossover. Left hand layup is good. Churchill. Fancy little play there, man. When the defender turned her back, she knows exactly how to cut in between the defenders. Laid it up and in. It's 11 to 2. And out of those 11, eight points are in the paint. And again, a jumper to this near side. It's off the mark. No good by Schaefer. Now the, done, pack, Leon. Yep, now the pack comes to the Lady Giants. Churchill at the point. Turgeon, three ball, three dead. A little Ooh. bit too strong. Looked good out of the release. It did, too. And after the miss there, the Lady Giants fall back on defense. Southwood is in the game. Lawrence Southwood. It's Katy Perry. A jumper no good. Fighting for it. It's Churchill. And it goes off for her hands and out of bounds. The ball stays with South Fulton right below us. Substitutions, Brooke Ford. Sydney Wells, Sydney Schubert, the shock troops. This is the group that up-tempos the defense inside there's, of things. There's a line change in the first quarter. How you handle this, the guards, man. You better buckle it up here. Almost a steal by Coomer. Underneath, Katie Perry. Katie Perry 
two, you know, a senior-oriented player knows. And, and other player, you might have got away with that swipe, but she turned and kept her poise and shot it off the glass. Three ball, no good by Coomer. And push going the other direction. I believe it's going to be against Wells. I agree. Sydney Wells picks up the foul. No. They called oh. that on. I thought they pointed Skatie this direction. Wilson. Oh, they did. Yeah, they called that on 40. That's Katie. Okay. Against Katie Wilson. Wow. Was she near the play? I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I didn't see her underneath her. Her first. Team's third. Back courts, that's Kraus. We've kept her pretty silent tonight, not really getting any kind of shot opportunities. 11-4, Canton with the lead. The pressure of the basketball. Summer Brigard for the free throw line. Runner, it bounces, got the rebound and knocked out of bounds. Stays with South Fulton. That was over the back, but... 3.09 left in the opening quarter tonight here on WBYSAM 1560. As we continue our broadcast of the county girls tournament, out front, Katie Perry... Guarded air by Coomer, down the lane, off the glass and in. Katy Perry, who had a kind of a silent night last night, had two double-figure games, gets the first two field goals of the game for the senior Perry, 11-6. Loose ball on the floor, Canton fights for it, and a turnover by Canton, that's here first. Costly one here. Aaron Lascellis, also in the lineup, a sophomore. So they've got a couple of deep They're gonna as the to. Rebels. Out front, Katie Perry, his feet on the line. Shot no good, rebound by Schubert. She'll push the tempo across the timeline. Looks off the left, takes it across, swatted away by Katie Perry. Tell you All what, right. you talk about a senior a hustle, Bob. She was down the low block area here. Schubert on the far side, ran the floor. Perry cut across the middle of the floor, all the way down the far baseline, swatted it out of bounds. It took the right angle to do it, too. With the 229 mark, 11-6, Lady Giants. Work forward, taps the ball. Inbounds to Churchill. Churchill cut off. Now get it to Katie Wilson. Off balance shot there. And you can't lose your feet underneath. Wide open Schubert missed an opportunity there. Lady Giants fall back on defense. South Fulton lead pass underneath. Katie Perry a layup. Gotta get back on defense. Can't get tardy and get beat. We did a pretty good job of that last night until late in the game. They're back within the three points. The 11 8. Churchill. Bounce pass Schubert. Katie Wilson got to learn to face up to the basket there. You got to be playing like a post. That's going to be a travel. Again, you got to be able to step and get posted up. And she just kind of really is kind of like stabilized down in there. Now if you're wanting to receive the pass, you got to be in position to get it. Also back in the lineup, as we mentioned, Aaron Lascellis. Uh, who else? The Summer Brigard checked back in. And I know there's another uh, Mackenzie Pilger. A junior checks in for South Fulton. Backcourt, Katie Perry handles at the point. She's very flexible. She can play post. She can play guard. Out front with a possession to Pilger. Ooh, Ooh. Almost drug the pivot foot there. Katie Perry draws the double team. Summer Bagard, pull-up jumper. Off the mark, no good. Churchill, and it goes off of her leg. We'll see who they're going to say. This direction stays with South Fulton. Off of Churchill. Bad break there for the Lady Giants. Also in the lineup. Will be for Canton, Sarah Linder. See if she can add a little, uh, at least strength rebounding wise here. I'd like to see something positive for Sarah tonight. Yeah, that's turnover number three for the Lady Giants. Back in the lineup, Kruquit is a sophomore. Inbounds, trying to run their offense. Right wing, the entry, off the dribble to the near side. Step through, shot short. Rebound by Schubert. She fights for it and has the ball. Schubert, I think, maybe met her match in intensity <laughs> with Kruquit fighting for it. Physicality down there. That's one thing you'd be ready for. South Fulton has not backed down against the larger school, the Canton Lady Giants, in this early game. And I think that's a tribute to Coach Beebe over the last several years. Again, a spin out top of the key. Churchill off. Balance it. Rolled it off. No good. It a travel call against the Lady Giants. That is now four for Canton in the early going. Coverage tonight from the Girls County Tournaments, live from Spinner Valley on this uh, finale on this Saturday night. A little press, Leon. Minute 11, trying to change the tempo. Now they get it across the timeline. That's Pilger, double team deflected. Churchill, I steal. Who's open off the left side? The Wells, step through, off the glass, no good. Yeah, Rebound, deflected, and South Fulton comes up with it. Man. Had the opportunity. Here comes the transition run. That's, that's going to be, should be a player control. Brooke Ford took a shot. 
to the head, to the floor. Stayed in there, took the charge. She's a little woozy as she gets up. She stood in there, did a good job there, Bob. That's turnover number four for the Lady Rebels. And the player controls against uh, Krukwit. Second team foul, trying to regain, and they'll make sure that she's all right. That's the thing they check on. If any kind of attack that to the head, whether it be a blow from the player or to the floor, and she'll make sure. We had Paige Pasley who had the injury in the uh, Farmington game. She had to uh, leave the game. I don't know to the extent of that injury, but hope it's going to be positive for her. She's an outstanding player. Very one of the really players we were caught a lot of attention in this tournament. Shot blocked against Hedges by the South Fulton defense. They have the ability. They got the size to keep you out of the lane. And keeping their hands up, Leon, contesting shots. South Fulton down by three with the possession with 32-second mark. Cut to the basket. That's a walk. Top of the key. Off the circle the near side. With the possession, it's Kraus covered up. Perry. Bounce pass. Bagard covered up there by Lind. Bounce pass to Bagard. She enters off the right side. Shot no good. Ball tapped. Who gets it? Linder. And tie up. You've got to hang on to the ball. Once you get the ball, you better cradle it and get the pass out. Because there's somebody going to latch onto it. That's the fifth offensive rebound in the first quarter for the Lady Rebels. And that's very really key why they've stayed close to this point, Bob. Oh. And uh, again, the substitution. As we see, into the pack here, it uh, looks like uh, Nicole Wilson, a junior, checks in. Again, Brigard will sit the final 10 seconds of the quarter. South Fulton a chance to tie it with a three. Kraus short on a shot there, no good. Lady Giants will have the length of the floor with 3.3. I don't think that's a shot you want to take towards the end of the quarter. Now they got, can't believe they won't come guard. Now they do. You can't just give her an easy free inbounds. And again, Wells looking between the defenders. Churchill taps it. Half court with about two seconds. Shot no good. Lady Giants hanging on to the end of one quarter. Tight game. In the title game here tonight from Spitter Valley, the girls county championship. Canton 11, South Fulton 8. Second quarter in 60 seconds. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. By State Farm Insurance, your local agents, Chuck Taylor, Tom Conklin, Brian Yance, and D. Clark. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By High V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. The Little Giant Booster Club. Go Little Giants! By AM 1560 WBYS and simulcast at 93.7 FM. By Truman Cleaning, your residential and commercial cleaning. Everything we touch turns to clean. By Ipava State Bank with locations in Astoria, Ipava, Lewistown, and Canton. By Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. Getting ready for second quarter basketball. Quick, Bobby, uh, the stats as we take a look at the end game stats brought to you by Brian Yon, State Farm Insurance in Lewistown. Providing every insurance financial service. Call Brian. It's 547-2767. Yeah, early shooting not too good. The Lady Rebels 4 of 18, 22.2%. Lady Giants... 5 of 15, 33.3%. South Fulton 0 for 2 from the stripe. Lady Giants were 1 for 1. A little low number compared to what we've seen in the first three games. And it's a credit to South Fulton. They played what they've been able to do. Uh, you know, Bob, it's good rebounding and not sending Canton to the free throw line. Yeah, and both Playing teams, good defense, haven't they? Both teams have scored 8 points apiece in the paint. 7 for the eighth inbounds. Canton possession to start the second quarter. That's Hedges. Coomer to the far side. Schubert for a three. Short on that. Who gets it? Loose ball on the floor. Tracked down by Krukwit. And South Fulton will have it. The length of the floor. Second quarter basketball tonight from the County Girls Tournament. Saw on WBYSAM 1560. Streamed online 1560. WBYS.com. Turnover. Steal. Layup. Good by Churchill. 
big players step up and make big plays, and she did there. A steal on the inbounds. It's 13-8. Lady Giants up by five. Not quite 30 seconds. The contact, Coomer out front with it. When she went to the floor pretty hard. And again, Kraus flips it in the lane. The ball stripped away. There's a reach. Got, and we talked about this in the first three games, Bob, but playing defense, can't get away to those reaches. They're going to end up in results and fouls. And they will call it every time. We've seen that already. And again, we'll take a look at substitutions here. Uh, Katie Perry in the lineup, and also in the lineup is Abby Schaefer for South Fulton. Linder. Defender and Katie Perry comes up short. The follow up is up and good underneath by Prukwit. She's done a pretty good job on the board tonight. Out front, that's Churchill, 13 10. Lady Giants, three point advantage. Just under the uh, seven minute mark of the second quarter. The cut to the hoop there threw it away. And five turnovers by the Lady Giants. Bounce pass into the half court with the possession. Prukwit, the sophomore. Back out to Kraus. Down the lane, it's Kraus. Left-handed shot, no good. Ballon on the floor, and the ball goes the other direction. Last touch by Sal Fulton. Turgeon, and also in the lineup tonight, Harley Barnard for the uh, Lady Giants. Harley's a junior. That will inbound Churchill. They'll spread it out. Far side, Coomer. Low block is Barnard. Wing right in the corner's hedges. Churchill isolates, threw the ball away. Not a good pass. Again, to off balance that. That's turn number six. Again, some of the mental mistakes in our passing tonight have been a little bit suspect and not reading the other player. Down the lane, Summer Bergard. That's a nice little move. I told you she's improved that little left-handed move. 13-12, Lady Giants up by one with the possession on the first two points of the night from Bergard. Six-minute mark, second quarter. Wing left, Coomer looks for the entry, and they throw the ball away again. Saved by South Fulton, seven turnovers. Katie Perry heads up the floor for South Fulton. Lady Rebels now across the timeline, picked up by Turgeon defensively. Wing right with the possession at Schaefer. Out front, got away with the travel down the lane, and it's a shot no good. That was taken by Krukwit. She's been able to get to the hoop there on numerous times. Got to do a better job defensively. That's Turgeon, a leaner in the lane. Shot no good. That's Brigard with the rebound. Yeah, we can't get nothing to fall either, Leon. 5-17 left in the second quarter. 13-12. Trying to take a lead in this game. South Fulton. Jumper. Kruquit. Shot no good. Underneath the rebound by Churchill. She leads the pack. Down the floor. Attacks off the left side. Bounce nice pass. pass in the lane. Morgan Coomer laid it oh, up and that's in. That's a pretty pass. Too that good was defender. fabulous. Pass there by Churchill with the assist. Coomer, her first two points of the night. Gets a little breathing room, 15-12. Lady Giants up by three, 447. This has been a dog fight between these two schools the last about five years of the county title game. You can see why, too. Baseline, Summer Bernard off balance shot. Hedges with the rebound. And Coach Langhoff will take a timeout. A little breather here in the middle part of the second quarter. Canton up 15-12, 4.35 remaining second quarter. Canton takes a timeout but with Lady Giant basketball in 30 seconds. Helping bring you this event, Spoon River Animal Clinic. Comprehensive care when it's needed most. By CD Country, 107.9, your new home in the country. The Clayburg Fulton County Nursing Center, serving Fulton County since 1969. Spoon River Home Health, and by quality disposal and quality roll-off. By Modern Health Fitness Center, located on East Chestnut Street, on the east side of Canton. By Spoon River Hearing Services, located inside the Graham Medical Building by Wesley United Methodist Church to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. 
timeout taken will be Turgeon Wells in the backcourt for the Lady Giants. Hedges, Churchill seems to play entire games without too many breathers there, Bob. Hey, don't make times off the floor for Churchill. Barner sets a screen. Who's going to come get it? Swings the pass onto the top of the key. Hedges open for a three. Try to get it in and out. No good. Tracking down. Sidney Wells saves it. Not much space there. Ball thrown away. And Barner gets it on the loose ball. Hedges down the lane. Off the glass. Rolled it in. Hedges got the field goal. Five in the game. 17-12. We're starting to get some loose balls and a few putbacks. Up by five of the Lady Giants. Led it by three at the end of the opening quarter. Off the four side, not much in a contact. That's a foul against the Lady Giants, Sydney Wells. Well, we've mentioned they are calling just about everything, and there was a definite inclination there. Fifth team foul against the Lady Giants. First against Wells. 353 left in our halftime. Krauss, give and go to Bergard. Nice two-player game there. Out of the pack comes Churchill. Got Hedges off for her right. Churchill takes it all the way to the hoop and laid it up, spin it off no good. Katie Perry touched it. And let's see who they say it will stay with the Lady Giants. Boy, just rolled off the front of the iron there. Got a little too far into the basket, Leon, on that. Again, a counter play and off to the pass. It went underneath the far corner. And Hedges knocked it down for three. Big shot there by Mariah. Eight points in the game. She's had her last five points, 20 to 12, back up by eight. Katie Perry, nice little left-handed hook. She Boy, answers. That is not an easy shot either. The senior answers her eighth point. Hedges open momentarily. Churchill drives down the lane, bounce pass. Harley Barner squares, rolled it off, no good. Underneath, stripped away by Wells, trying to get it out and a hell ball. Backboard, backboard, backboard. Lady Giants trying to assert themselves on the boards a little bit better. Katie Wilson back in lineup. Brooke Ford seems to be okay now. Yeah, After Trick and Gabur gets shot to the floor, they're in her head. We've actually gotten four offensive rebounds so far this quarter. 2014, Lady Giants will inbound. Now, what are they saying here? On oh, the hell ball, everything possession goes to South Fulton now. That's what they're saying. <laughs> the officials try to get it right here. Inbounds, it goes to Katie Perry. Get back. Got to fall back. Can't turn your back on her. She'll shoot the three. Summer Bagard takes it strong and you gotta no foul keep, outside. You got to keep your feet. You can't follow her along with your hands up. They're going to bust you every time. Going to be against uh, Katie Wilson. That's going to be her second. Team sixth. Again, it will be Bagard to the free throw line for South and she makes the first free throw. She's for one of three now. See, I'm wondering again on that play, because the ball was still off the baseline, and she didn't actually shoot till after, after the foul committed. Didn't take the shot until afterwards. Second free throw. It's good. Almost. Four points in the game, but Bagard, and they're back to within four. South Fulton trails. 253 mark. Katie Wilson takes a strong cutoff. Hedges tries another three. Too strong. Katie Perry, weak side rebound. That shot was rushed a little bit, Leon. Schubert fall back to the perimeter along with Ford. Katie Wilson, Wells, and Hedges. That's the five for the Lady Giants in this stretch of the second quarter. 235, a steal. Uh, Schubert trying to run it out off the left side and got it in. Nice a steal play. and a finish there by Sidney Schubert. Now you get a chance to do a little bit of a press here. We haven't showed a lot of that tonight. I haven't really had a chance to. No. 22-16, 2 second quarter. Bagard tries to take her player underneath. Not a charge. And again, out of the pack, there was a no call. Kent comes out of the, with the rebound. Sidney Wells across the timeline. Weaves her way around the defense, turns into the pack. Bounce pass, sets up Schubert. Katie Wilson Needs to get underneath, contact, no foul call. The ball knocked out of bounds with a minute 57. You have to be under control, Land, when you want to put that shot up. You know, you just kind of throw it over your shoulder. You're not going to get a lot of those to fall. Well, you got to learn posting up, first of all, and you're going to get some fouls in some of those situations. You're just kind of flat down there, not right. really turned at an angle. Sidney Wells off the dribble, leans in, comes up short, loose ball. Use South Fulton retrieves it. Board. Out of the pack comes Krukwit. 
Across the timeline with a minute 48. 22-16, almost a steal by Brooke Ford. Bounce pass and then South Fulton threw it away. Seven for the Lady Rebels. Lady Giants have pretty much equal that, don't they? Yes, sir. 22-16, a minute 41. Substitution to the scorer's table. That's uh, Kylie Krause for South Fulton. Quick play in there by Abby Briney, who came in for a couple plays up and down the floor. I'll help you, Dan. We've got to charge you. Minute 38 clock rolls. That's Wells. They'll stack the top with uh, for the Lady Giants. The Linder out the top of the key. Bounce pass to Churchill. Tries to turn. Now out of the arc there. Got away with the carry. Uh, Short on that. We are rushing things tonight. We're not setting our feet. And we're throwing up some errant shots here too. I agree. It's that. One other thing. I see a lot of watching the basketball mm -hmm. for the person with it. Not a lot of movement without. Those walls I do. That's very important. They had to call uh, the foul apparently on Sydney Wells after the shot there. That's her second seventeen foul. And will send the free throw line for South Fulton Kylie Krause. 22 last nights. Big night from three-point shooting for South Fulton. At the minute 22. Nice crowd on hand tonight for the finale of the girls county tournament here. And as should be. Dave Freeman and all the folks here do a terrific job all week long. Nice, great uh, hospitality uh, room there and putting up a lot of great us. food. Putting up with us. <laughs> Next free throw is up and good. Four for four is quarter. Yep. So Kraus gets her first two points of the night. 22-18, still a four-point game. About the biggest lead has been eight by the Lady Giants. That's the three missed there. Again by the Lady Giants by Coomer. Up the floor comes South Fulton. The attack from the north to the south in this first half of basketball. A minute remaining, second quarter. A lob underneath. Good job by Coomer. Read that one. Katie Perry is going to be the recipient of a pass. Inbounds right below us here at the Valley Gym. Turnaround jumper comes up short. A follow. Katy Perry on the spot. She's a terrific player. Ten points on the night for the senior, Katy Perry. South Fulton back to within two. Canton trying to close out the first half here, 45 second mark. Schubert takes it down the lane, off balance, oh. and it counts. I think they're going to call it a charge, too, maybe. We'll see the uh, indication of the official. Basket will count, and a blocking oh. foul. What take a block. So Schubert credited with the field goal, her second of the night, with the possible three point play. That's a big play there. It goes the other direction, Bob. Change. The whole complexion of this for the tap. We can definitely, you know, close out the half with a little bit of a flurry. Crew quit with their second foul, third as a team. Three-point play the old-fashioned way. Yep. Took a little while to get things going here, at least defensively, but again, Lady Giants set up that play there. Five points in the game by Schubert, 39 seconds. Canton up by five. So a oh. big turn of events there on that play there. Quick pass out on the arc. Katy Perry, you can't leave her open. And the ball deflected. Who comes up with it? Linder fights for it. There you go on the floor. And a Schubert with 24 seconds. Churchill, top of the key. And back outside to run some offense with 17. Now the attack. Off balance shot. Shot no good. But guard fighting for it. Off balance shot taken by Coomer. South Fulton comes up with a loose ball with 10 seconds. Krause runs it to this near side. Stops off the glass and in. Kylie Krause, that was a nice move there. She didn't panic. Shot it off the glass, and they draw back to within three at the end of the first half. Good county girls title game going on here tonight at Spindler Valley. Canton Lady Giants 25, South Fulton 22. Our halftime show when we turn to the county girls title on WBYS back in two minutes. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. By State Farm Insurance, your local agents, Chuck Taylor, Tom Conklin, Brian Yance, and D. Clark. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By High V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. The Little Giant Booster Club. Go Little Giants! 
by AM 1560 WBYS and simulcast at 93.7 FM. By Truman Cleaning, your residential and commercial cleaning. Everything we touch turns to clean. By Ipava State Bank with locations in Astoria, Ipava, Lewistown, and Canton. By Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. Back with the coverage, the Girls County Tournament tonight. Uh, Canton leads it 25-22 at a halftime. And, and I think it's just every bit as close as I, you know, I think a lot of people would expect uh, out of the matchup. And I think uh, South Fulton's rebounding in early going has been very strong, keeping Canton off the boards and limiting us to go to the free throw line. Two attempts, we made both of those attempts. So things really have gone to really the, I guess, the way that South Fulton kind of game plan, really to kind of slow us down, not get in our kind of press mode. They've kept us out of those kind of situations, Bob. It's, you know, a tribute to them. They've worked hard on the boards. They've done a pretty good job in the first half against the Lady Giants. Yeah, I agree. I think if you, if you, you know, if the grade the teams as far as, you know, what they're wanting to do as far as playing the basketball game, I think what we saw in the first half, I think South Fulton did more of what they wanted to do as far as rebounding, eliminating transition, making key baskets and scoring in the paint. They had a pretty successful first half, and it shows we went down by three. You know, for the, uh, for at least for South Fulton, we talked about uh, some key kind of situations. Katy Perry's had one of her stronger games. I think she's really played well. She played pretty, pretty good in the first couple of games, but tonight, especially with double figures, but she's been, when they've needed a basket to kind of stay close, she has been kind of the go-to person. And, uh, and I think it's one of the key things. We've done a pretty good job of keeping uh, Krause in check from the three-point line. She has no threes. In fact, they have no threes in a game. Uh, we've had just the uh, one by Hedges so far, and, and I think Summer Bagard, we've limited her. And, and although she's starting to get a little bit more movement into the paint, we're going to have to keep an eye on that if she gets some more inside there because you got Wilson with a couple of fouls. So that's going to allow Bagard maybe to get a little bit of uh, interior kind of play there. And you you know you see they're trying to remain active down low. You know they're rotating bodies down there to try and stay as fresh as they can. And you know I, one thing I give them a lot of credit for is positioning themselves for rebounds. I mean, they've done a real good job as far as being in position because one thing about it, we always want to get that rebound off the basket and break for the fast break and try and get in that transition game. And we have not been successful so far. Even though you look at a couple of their players, Crookwit and Schaefer, I think they really played well. I think they did a pretty yeah. good job. They haven't done a lot of scoring, but they've done the, all the other little things. They've taken care of the basketball. They haven't, you know, they, they haven't turned the ball over regards to those kind of situations. So I think, you know, for that standpoint, They've been better than what our bench has been for us. Now, Schubert had the good finish there during that one little stretch, but I think that that go at least the overall bench play maybe go to uh, South Fulton in this game. It has, and I think, you know, you look at that in general, you look at the score at 25-22, you know, we're averaging about 70 points a game. You know, we're well off that mark right now, and what do you give credit for? The South Fulton defense. Absolutely. We'll get to our in-game stats, our first-half scoring. Uh, at the end of the first quarter, was Canton leading 11-8. We are at halftime tonight on this Saturday night, wrapping up the Girls County Tournament. Uh, Lady Giants 25-22 over South Fulton. Bob Wagner, Leon Gruber with you, M. Bixler Video Productions. And, of course, back at the studios, it's us, again, uh, uh, Steph, who is our engineer tonight as well. So we'll take a quick break and more coming up uh, live here for the Sweet River Valley and the Girls County Tournament after this 90-second timeout. Helping bring you this event, Spoon River Animal Clinic. Comprehensive care when it's needed most. By CD Country 107.9, your new home in the country. The Clayburg Fulton County Nursing Center, serving Fulton County since 1969. Spoon River Home Health, and by quality Disposal and quality roll-off by Modern Health Fitness Center located on East Chestnut Street on the east side of Canton. By Spoon River Hearing Services located inside the Graham Medical Building. By Wesley United Methodist Church to know Christ and to make him known. 
And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. We'll take a look at the in-game stats. Uh, first half scoring again. Remind you, uh, tomorrow, Monocle's Pizza of Camp will donate 20% of all of its sales for that day uh, to the America Red Cross for the tornado victims. So if you have a chance in our listing area, head to Monocle's tomorrow, make a purchase. And again, 20% of that will go to the tornado victims. And uh, a lot of that's being done through now through the America Red Cross. And I saw a lot of different things during the uh, high school game today in which uh, Sacred Heart Griffin took control of the game late. Uh, I think Washington was within nine at a point there, Bob, and yeah. had the football, turned the ball over, and then what good championship teams do, they, they took care of business and finished it off with a couple of late touchdowns. But an impressive performance through uh, adversity. I mean, it's, when you talk about adversity, sometimes within a team or something like that, but you're talking about a big part of their community devastated by uh, Tornado. And, uh, and I think it was just a, a courageous type of a thing that uh, their community, again, pulled together in every kind of facet. They had over 1,000 people were served after the game tonight. That meal was provided by Sacred Heart Griffin. You had Joliet, who had breakfast earlier in the week. A lot of different teams. Stark County. Stark County. I mean, yep. there's a lot of different teams uh, were able to uh, kind of help out in regards to that. So we salute, again, the uh, Panthers Strong of Washington. And, again, uh, what a season in regards to that. So, we, you know, we had a chance a couple of years ago to follow them up in the, uh, the, the Joliet, the year that they had uh, no losses. And, uh, again, Joliet Catholic game of the one loss that they had. And it's, it's kind of uh, it's very impressive to see the way that our communities around our area have responded. Let's get to our in-game stats tonight, brought to you by Brian Yon, State Farm Insurance in Lewistown. Providing every insurance financial service, call Brian at 547 27 Six seven first half stats, Bobby. Uh, Lady Rebels shooting nine out of 32, 28.1 percent. 0 for two and threes, four for six in free throws, 66.7 percent. 23 rebounds, six offensive, seven first half turnovers. Can Lady Giants 11 of 34 shooting, 32.4 percent. One for 11 in shooting threes, nine percent. Two of two in free throws, 100 percent. 23 total rebounds, six offensive, also seven first half turnovers. Hedges try to three to the far side as we open up. Turgeon out on front, starting five of the Lady Giants. Back to begin the game here, and another turnover by the Lady Giants. Have to go get the ball, Leon, not backpedal from it. Leading score in the game was uh, Katie Perry, who had 10. Krause with four, Bergard with four, Schaefer with two, and Krukwit with two again for South Fulton. Lady Giants playing the defense. That's Krause. We did a pretty good job in the first half. She misses that three. Down to floor comes Churchill across the timeline. That's Hedges wide open and a runner off the left side. Mariah had a wide open about a 10 footer. She put the ball on the floor, took it strong there. She's got 10 points in the game. 27 22. South Fulton rushes down the right side. Katie Perry wow. again, even with the contact. She was able to shoot it off the glass and in. There you That's go, Bob, a, using that bank board. Playground shot there. Does It does pay dividends, Bob, when you are able to use the bank board on occasion there, right? Yeah. It's up there for a reason. 27-24. I thought it was just for kind of looks that they wanted to put as many rectangles on a, on a glass there. And I can recall many times I was told it's not there for a decoration. <laughs> That's right. 648, third you, quarter basketball. For you probably. <laughs> I swished everything, man. Yeah. Underneath, Katie Wilson again bobbled it and then shot it up off the glass and in. That's a big basket, Leon, for her. I, I think we need to get her going interior there. Yep. That'll take a lot of the pressure off. 29-24, biggest lead of the game was back in the second quarter, eight. Underneath, off balance, shot no good. Short on that shot by Schaefer, a follow-up no good, but guard follows up. They continue to pound the boards against the Lady Giants. A couple of offensive putbacks there and a foul against the Lady Giants. That stops the clock with 6.28 in the third quarter. That's going to be a foul against Hedges. Her first and first as the team by either of these two teams in this uh, county title game. Free throw is Bagard. Her fifth point of the game knocked it down. Another opportunity again with the clock stopped. Second free throw is good as well. They were 4-6 from the stripe. She is 4-6. Again, uh, she's uh, again 4 of 6, and again, Krause was 2 of 2. The moving screen. Moving yeah. screen against you, the Lady Giants, so a turnover. 
two things. You gotta set your feet and you can't swing your hip out. A couple of back-to-back uh, -back turnovers against the Lady Giants. Gives South Fulton an opportunity with the three to tie this game. That is nine turnovers for the Lady Giants. 6-18, they'll walk it up the floor. Katie Perry, crossover, got a high okay, dribble yeah, and didn't yeah. get away with it. Turnover by South Fulton. That's eight for the Lady Rebels. You could see that Katie Perry saw an opening, Bob, and she was going to start the burst to the hoop from about the mid-floor. She saw a nice opening, turned the ball over. You couldn't keep the basketball caught up with her. Quick hard pass in the paint. Katie Wilson shot off the mark no good. Got to be able to get in position here if you're going to go take it to the hoop here. If you get stopped, that don't mean you got to throw it up. Kraus, Katie Perry, they reverse it to the far side. A jumper comes up short, shot no good by Krukwit. Out of the pack comes the Lady Giants. Churchill drives down the lane. Bump, hedges, a kick out three, bounces too strong. Katie Wilson had it, gave up on it, and then Kraus took it away from her. Across the timeline, Kylie now pulls up. Boy, almost got away with the... Again, with moving her pivot foot. She was like a balance act out there. Swings the pass between the circle. With the possession, it's Krukwit. Off the uh, perimeter there. Schaefer. And a three. Shot is open. In and out, no good by Kraus. You don't see that fluidity we saw from the release. Russell. Here comes Churchill down the lane, and it's up and good. Churchill gets her first two points of the half, and it's a 10-point night for Chloe Churchill, the sophomore, 31-26 at the five-minute mark. Almost a steal there, but guard now takes it down the lane. Squatted away oh. by Churchill. A couple players go down to the floor, but a heck of a play there by Churchill. Squatted away. Here comes Chloe. In between the circle. Ball batted away. Wilson. Hedges. Get into your offense. Turgeon at the top of the key. A little head fake. Coomer, quick hard pass to Wilson. Turns, squares up, shot it in. There you go. That's a good post there, Bob. That's the perfect thing, yep. She did the proper situation there. Got it up, and it's seven-point advantage to the Lady Giants with 431. 33-26. Canton with the lead on a basket there by Katie Wilson. Back with the Spitter of Valley, the County Girls. Basketball tournament after this one-minute timeout. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. By State Farm Insurance, your local agents, Chuck Taylor, Tom Conklin, Brian Yance, and D. Clark. By Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By High V. Your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. The Little Giant Booster Club. Go Little Giants! By AM 1560 WBYS and simulcast at 93.7 FM. By Truman Cleaning. Your residential and commercial cleaning. Everything we touch turns to clean. By Ipava State Bank, with locations in Astoria, Ipava, Lewistown, and Canton. By Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and to make Him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. Last couple of field goals, again, by Churchill and by Wilson. Have given the Lady Giants seven-point advantage. They play the defense. Brooke Ford on the perimeter. Loose ball on the floor, Ooh. pecked away. Retreat by Perry for South Fulton. Left-handed pass off this left side to Southwood. Quick hard pass to Bagard. Steal turnover That's nine. by the Lady Rebels. Mentioned nine there. Hedges. Brooke Ford open momentarily. Quick hard pass to the basket. Schubert and a basket there. Nice assist. From Hedges. Yeah, kept her eyes up, playing with the dribble picked up, found her wide open down low. Back cut there, nicely done by Schubert, finishes it off. And she has seven in the game. 35 26, biggest lead of the night by the Lady Giants at the 346 mark and knocked out of bounce. Another turnover. That's 10 for the Lady Rebels. They've come in back to back variety, and Canton's tried to take advantage of, in this stretch of the game. It's actually, three in a row. So the Lady Giants trying to dig in here. Back in the lineup, Kylie Kraus with a short breather. I think Coach wanted to get a little bit of a longer one. But again, Canton's taking control in this third quarter. 
342. Churchill pull up top of the three, bounces too strong. Linder kept it alive, almost out of the reach there. South Fulton across the timeline. Kraus pushes the tempo, contact and moving Brooke Ford. Again, Brooke's going to pick up the foul. Try to get in position, Liam, just could not beat the ball handler there. Third foul as a team. And uh, free throws coming up for Kylie Kraus. And free throw sinks it. South Fulton after missing 0 for 2 in the first quarter. Again now, seven in a row. They've knocked down free throws. 35-27. Trying to fight their way into this particular stretch of the game. Looked like the momentum had switched a little bit more into the favor of the Lady Giants, but they knocked down a couple of free throws. 35-28, 3-27. Brooke Ford catches the near wing. Looks to the defense. Glides in, got it on her hip. Schubert sets, plenty of time to knock it down. She's got a pretty little mid-range jumper. Nine in the game by Schubert, whether it be starting role or off the bench, man. She is a catalyst in a lot of the games, close games early in this county tournament. 37-28, three-minute mark, third quarter. Bagard pushed off, got away with it, and wide open underneath was uh, Pilger. Again, Bagard used the forearm, and again, made the pass on the assist. Bounce pass, Linder to the near side. Pull up jumper. Atta girl. There you go. That's a big shot. It is. Again too. for Sarah Linder. That's going to be like the weight of the world lifted off her shoulders. To finally get two points in the game. Maybe a lot will turn her game around. They're going to need her. Sidewise, sideline pass right in front. Coach Beebe. Pilger open again. Free throw line jumper. Bounces, bounces. And rebound by Kraus. Nope, Schubert gets to it. That's a hustle rebound there. Sydney Wells. Glender out front. Free throw line jumper. Banks it in. Now she's feeling it. She smiled. That's the first smile we've seen her <laughs> in this county girls tournament. A little disgust for a couple of nights there, Bob. Yeah, it was. 41-30. Got to feel good for her. A couple of baskets for Linder. Down the lane. That's Katie Perry with a left-handed shot. And again, I think it's going to be against Schubert. Should be. She reached in before the initial play could have been a charge and a result. Schubert picks up the foul, first and fourth as a team. Churchill at the scorer's table with 2.03 left in our third quarter. Perry with the free throw, misses it. Broker string, most South Fulton string of eight straight free throws. Churchill comes back in, Hedges gets the glad hand from Coach Langhoff. I think Fletcher and the fresh soft were in a tournament. I think they were playing today. They won yesterday and playing earlier today as well for a soft tournament. Free throws coming up from Katy Perry. And a missed the free throw. Rebound. Who gets it? I think last touch by Canton, of course. I agree. It's because there was only two Canton players there. So it's easy for me to figure that out. <laughs> That's the one you can't blow, right? Your it's not full possession. Your color skills are amazing. <laughs> Two-minute mark, interior, oh. uh, shot no good. That was taken underneath there by Aaron Lasellis, and it goes out of bounds. They're going to get another chance at it, though. South Fulton again keeps the possession. A couple of ticks under the two-minute mark. 41-30, Lady Giants with the lead. Perry, back to Kraus, back to Perry. Drives down the lane, and it's off the glass, no good. Schubert tips it, Wells. With the outlet, Brooke Ford catches it. Same motion, flips the pass and stepped on the end line. It will be Canton basketball. Katie Perry tried her best balancing act here, but couldn't save it. I like the transition play we're trying to come up with this core lane. We still need to slow it down just a tad. There is some mad there is some at least control to madness once in a while, right? Right. That's Sydney Wells, drives down the lane. Little runner comes up short, loose ball. Prowse comes up with it. Minute 35 remaining. Prowse off to the right side of the hands of South, I should say, uh, Krukwit. Katie tip. Perry, long three. The ball was tipped there by Schubert. It was, too. It'll stay with South Fulton. Held them to eight points in this quarter, Bob, so we've clamped down defensively. We've made some adjustments coming out of that, you know, out yep. of halftime, Leon. It's really been a difference maker. Four of that eight have been from the free throw line. Got away with a double dribble, steal. Linder picked it off. That's 11. South Fulton, now it's Schubert. Yeah, nice little scoop shot. Went down to the floor and almost went in. 
Schubert gets again. A little glad hand from her teammates. Picked her up. Minute 15 left in her third quarter. This is only our third free throw attempt. That's her first foul of the half as well. Schubert sinks the free throw. If you'd have asked me before the game started, we don't have three free throw attempts, I'd have said no <laughs> way. And we're perfect for the Knights, three from three. I even bought some new lead for the game. <laughs> Thought that was going to be coming to play. Yeah. After we shot 101 free throws in the first three games, we get now our fourth free throw in the game, four for four. 11 in the game from Schubert comes off the bench tonight. 43-30, they release. Perry missed a shot. Follow up no good. Minute five. Gonna be a push. And a push. We'll see who it's gonna be against. Probably Schubert. Probably. It's either her or Sarah Lynn or yep. one of the two. It's Sydney. Yep. With the push. Well, if you can't get position, I always believed in push is the next Knock option. Knock him down. <laughs> Knock him down. The minute four. That's the Leon Groover defense. South ladies and Fulton. Gentlemen. And again, Schubert probably got away with another foul. Could have been contact. Perry off balance and a reach and a foul. And you bail her out on that. Sydney though. Wells. <laughs> With a minute remaining third quarter. That is going to be, if it is, it's her third. Haven't should seen the indication there, Bob. But yeah, it should, yep, yeah, there it is. I always make to make it official. Perry to the free throw line and missed it. And she's not, she's Sorry. had a tough time going to the line. She's three straight misses. They're struggling this quarter. It's actually, you know, prime time for us to maintain this lead and even make it bigger. Sydney will have a seat. That's Wells. Can't mention Sydney because there's a couple of them in the lineup. <laughs> we learned that, the combinations. 43-30. Barry back to the line and missed it again. Linder with the rebound. Churchill scans the floor. Lead pass to Coomer. Now bounces it, turns in traffic, swatted away underneath there by Schieffer. That's Schubert with the jumper. It's good. About a mid-range jumper, about an eight-footer. Schubert with the field goal. 13 in the game by Sydney Schubert. Off the right side, wow. racing, it's Krukwit with the field goal. It's only their third basket of the quarter. 45-32 with 35 seconds left in the third quarter. Linder from the near side, feeling it, jumper's yeah. good. Now she's feeling it. I'm just glad to see her with a smile on her face and knocking down some shots. Right. Sarah Linder with six points in the game. We need her on the court, Leon. Oh, that's, without a doubt. Her size really changes, gives us a lot of different dimensions with our lineup. Just like that. Off the left side, no good by Krukwit. Here comes Churchill, the crossover. Off the left side, laid it up and in by Chloe. That's how you finish. Only 12 points in the game, but that was a nice move by Churchill and a double dribble. dribble. Yeah. Another turnover by South Fulton gives Canton back with five tenths of a second. Yeah, this will be pretty much a tip in. all you're going to be able to do. I don't know if you can get even a catch here on the inbounds from midcourt. Coomer, Linder, fires a shot, and it comes up short. At the end of three, it's the Lady Giants, 49. South Fulton, 32. We head to the fourth quarter. Basketball tonight from the Girls County Tournament at Valley High School, back in 60 seconds. Helping bring you this event, Spooner Animal Clinic. Comprehensive care when it's needed most. By CD Country 107.9, your new home in the country. The Clayburg Fulton County Nursing Center, serving Fulton County since 1969. Spoon River Home Health, and by quality disposal and quality roll off. By Modern Health Fitness Center, located on East Chestnut Street, on the east side of Canton. By Spoon River Hearing Services, located inside the Graham Medical Building. By Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and to make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. Advantage, a big one that quarter, a Canton 24-10. They had outscored South Fulton, and it's a 49-32. Canton lead to South Fulton, possession to begin the fourth quarter. At the top of the key, that's Briney. Lobs it out front. Now the play with it, that's uh, Kraus. Looks over the defense by the Lady Giants. 2-3 zone. Underneath, that's Brigard. Bank shot no good. Rebound 
by Coomer. So they hang on to it and then released it down to floor. Katie Wilson's wide open. A nice pass there on the assist. Katie Wilson with a field Ooh. goal to start this fourth quarter. Almost a turnover. That's a pass up the floor. 51-32. Underway, fourth quarter steal. Turnover by South Fulton. It's things have kind of come unravel about yeah. the middle part of that third quarter for the Lady Rebels. The defensive intensity has picked up and has made a difference in the game since. 51-32. Kick out to this near side. Schubert drives, tried to flip it underneath, and it's a hell ball. Nope, they're calling a foul. Foul on Coomer. Quick foul underneath here. Again, again, Morgan Coomer. Saw Michaela, who's playing with ICC. They were playing today for the ICC, and that's the women's team over there. And a 6.58 remaining in our game, 51-32. Saw Michaela here a couple of nights ago. Yeah. At the county girls tournament. Free throw opportunity coming up. That is for Schaefer. Free throw is missed by Schaefer. Start of this fourth quarter. 51-32. Here comes Churchill. That's the Sydney Wells. Contact out to the right wing. Swings the pass to Turgeon. Trying to set up the offense. Comes to this near side. That is Wells. Bounce pass intended for Wilson. Ball tip. Wells, a jumper. Left side is no good. Loose ball. Who comes up with it? That is Briney. Now the pack here for South Fulton. They need to find a guard. There you go. Across the timeline to the hands of Krukwit, the sophomore. 6.25 remaining. Ball tipped and kicked. That's a goalie save. And again, it'll be South Fulton possession. Off the far end of the floor. Come and get the basketball. It's Krukwit. 6.23 left in the game. 51-32. We'll tell you about where these teams will play. And the next up, some teams. The Canton will take about a week off. Shot in the lane. Good by Katy Perry. That's her first points, really, since the about right after the halftime. Third quarter, the start of the third quarter. Had a field goal. 14 in the game by Perry. Been in a drought for a while. That's Wells. Top of the key. Underneath, Katy Perry open. I should say that's Wilson. Open up momentarily. Nice runner oh. by... Mariah Hedges with the, the field goal. You can see the confidence in her offense grow too, Leon. Yeah, Hedges with a, a dozen tonight in the game. 53-34. Under six minutes left in the game. Perry, top of the key, straight on. Krukwit, shot no good. Kicked out left side. It goes to Schaefer. Little underhand pass. Now to Summer Bagard. Turns, wheels it up. Shot no good. She's Ball struggled. deflected. Here comes Turgeon, but stripped away from her just before midcourt. Bagard bounce pass off the right side and a layup by South Fulton. That is Perry with the field goal. Here comes the Lady Rebels, 53-36, trying to last charge against Canton. The ball tipped. Who gets it? South Fulton. And a reach and a foul against Churchill. Looks like the guilty party. Might see a timeout here by Langhoff just to get things back a little bit organized better. There's still plenty of time left. You don't want them back in it by going to the free throw line. No. And scoring with the clock stopped. And to the free throw line, it will be Krukwit. And from what I see on that board over there, we've got 18 fouls, two more. They shoot two free throws every trip from then on. Right. They, well, they've only had, they only had four in the first half. Yeah, they only have one team yep. foul this quarter. Free throw right. is no good by Krukwit. And an South Fulton rebound. keeps it. 53-36. Canton plays the defense. Underneath, turn, shot, went in and out, no good. Rebound, Churchill had it. Now South Fulton, Churchill gets it right back. Lead pass down to floor to Hedges. Cut off, Wells, and contact made by South Fulton. It's going to be a foul against Krukwit. She's got three of their fouls, Bob. <laughs> they haven't had many. <laughs> Couple. And a quick timeout. Taken here with 4.55 remaining. It is the Lady Giant 53, South Fulton 36. Back to Valley after this full timeout. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. By State Farm Insurance, your local agents, Chuck Taylor, Tom Conklin, Brian Yance, and D. Clark. 
by Innovations Design Academy, located on East Locust Street in Canton. By hy V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main Street in Canton. The Little Giant Booster Club. Go Little Giants! By AM 1560 WBYS and simulcast at 93.7 FM. By Truman Cleaning, your residential and commercial cleaning. Everything we touch turns to clean. By Ipava State Bank, with locations in Astoria, Ipava, Lewistown, and Canton. By Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and to make Him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you're looking at getting married, give us a call. Uh, girls basketball update you at Macomb Girls Tournament. Havana leads Macomb 31-29. That's at halftime. Sherry Wilson's uh, ball club off to a roaring start. Against a pretty good high-powered offense of Macomb. They scored some points in that tournament there at the Washington Street Gym. 450 remaining, 53-36. Lady Giants post off this near side bounce pass. Loose ball. One thing about it, you know, when you get the ball to this wing here, catch it with authority, you know. You know, it's it's none of those things. And, again, once you put that ball on the floor, you cause all kinds of situations with that defense. It plays right in their hand. And let the defense collapse. You can bring yeah. the ball outside of the open shooter. I agree. Sidney Wells wheels it to this near side. Turgeon looks over the defense. Wells floats to this near side. 433. Runs some offense here. Spread it out. Needs some help out front. Goes to Hedges. Also in the lineup, it's Coomer. Wilson with a screen. Nice Ooh. job there to give and go. Oh, Again from Coomer to Wilson. Nice job there on the one-two punch there. That was a pretty play. Really good to screen and roll by the two. Again, the assist from Coomer. Man, the field goal again goes for the Lady Giants to Katie Wilson. 55-36. Another turnover. Eight points of the game for Wilson. Four-minute mark. 55-36. Edges wait for traffic. Cut pass oh. here to, again, Morgan Coomer. She had the right idea, Leon. You got to catch the ball and go to the rim. You already had, and you could see her head turned, and she was looking to go to the basket before she caught it. So it's a loose ball out of bounds. Can't learned, gives the ball up. She probably learned that from you. You're always looking at the rim. No. I made sure I grab it, man. Nobody's getting it back. 55-36, out front Perry. Picked up her dribble between the circle. Pilger. Little Giants tighten the defense on the perimeter there. That's Kraus. Did a good job keeping her under control tonight, but no threes in the game for South Fulton tonight. Just yeah, shut them down. I credit our defense, and they've really pushed the offense out and disrupted what they're wanting to do in the second half. 55 36, Kraus lobs it underneath to Bagard, catches it in a low block area. Shot no good. Bagard tapped it. Who gets it? That's Coomer and a tie up. Hell ball, the alternating possession. Stays at the opposite end. Substitution, Brooke Ford in the lineup for oh, Mel Turgeon. Summer for Garland. She's had a lot of chances down low and can't get them to drop tonight. She'll be a factor, though. I, I, really, like, I really like her play. I think she's going to have a really a good year. I think she's going to be one of their keys for their team the rest of the season there. Perry, a three ball. Too strong, a push off. And we'll see who that's going to be whistled against. Could be against Chloe. Uh, really? Yeah, I thought the inside there on the push off. They give it to Churchill with her third. Looked like she got the inside position, Bob, and yeah. she still kind of, I think she just kind of barely kind of used the hand just to kind of push off just a bit there. Underneath the ball, knocked out of bounds. It will stay with the Lady Giants after the free throw miss. 55-36 with 3.07 left in this one on a Saturday night here at Valley High School. 2013 Girls County Tournament about to come to a close. Busy week here. Out front, Coomer looking to back cut here. Coomer tries to drive along the baseline, flips the pass through traffic. Underneath, Katie Wilson shot no good. Hedges fights for it, loose ball, Kraus tie up. Alternating possession stays this way. 2.44 left. 
We have our post-game show for you coming up. We're brought to you by Joe's Place in Norris. For casual dining, visit Joe's Place. Open 3 to 8, Tuesday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Sunday. Our Lady Giant post-game show. That's Coomer. Outside of Hedges, back to Churchill, covered up, drives. About a seven-foot jumper to this near side, and Chloe gets it to go down. Two words for that, shooter's touch. 14 of the game by Churchill tonight. 228 left. Canton 57-36. That's Katy Perry down the lane off balance. Out of control. No call. Shot no good. Coomer, Perry, fight for it. Who goes off of uh, South Fulton? It'll be Canton basketball. 217 remaining. Linder at the stoppage. There you go. They're going to allow Sarah to come into the lineup. Sarah's sure had three field goals tonight off the bench. Yeah, you can really see fatigue setting into on the later levels too, Leon. They're mm -hmm. pretty exhausted in this fourth quarter. I know Sarah's trying to work her bay back into that starting lineup tonight. Man, she got a positive boost tonight. She's so definitely in line for a promotion. 2:14 left. 57-36. Catch underneath. Churchill sealed off. Hedge is open for three. Far side. Too strong. Fighting for it. That's uh, Kraus with the rebound. Cross the timeline. Off the left side. Out of the middle of the floor. Bounce pass. Now she keeps it. Sets for a three to this near side. No good by South Fulton. And I thought it was going to be a hell ball by Nicole Wilson. And now it's a tie-up. Alternating possession goes the other direction. That's when you can tell they're running out of gas. Yep. Substitution for the Lady Giants. Madison Putman. Chloe Churchill comes off. No doubt will be all tournament team selection there for the girls county tournament. Absolutely. Churchill tonight so again with the 14. At three previous games of 20 plus. And I think Schubert's got a chance too, Bob, to make that all tourney team ball tip. Putman comes up with it with a minute 46. Brooke Ford, Wells, Hedges, and Linder. And off the fingertips and out of bounds. She saw a lot of open real estate, Leon, and he didn't yep. quite catch the ball before she took off. You got to be able to come off the bench, man. You got to flow right into the game, whether it's up tempo or whatever kind of situation you come into. You got to be able to be able to catch the basketball and focus and get into the flow of the game. Some players do it rather easily. Some struggle. Not, yeah. Little hook shot runner in the lane. It's good by Schaefer. Abby Schaefer with a field goal. That's her fourth point of the night. 57-38 with a minute 19. Out front, Sydney Wells, ball stripped away. Turn over by Canton. Katie Perry runs off the left side, takes it all the way to the hoop and rolled it off no good. And a foul against the Lady Giants. Still a minute 11 remaining. The first game seemed like it uh, took an eternity to, to finish out that first game tonight. Lewistown finished with third place, 61-46. LeGrand had 27, Jostis with 23 for Farmington in that loss. Big game there by LeGrand as well tonight. She seemed to be unstoppable tonight, Bob, in a lot of different positions there. She's another mention for the all-tournament team. And there's no doubt. Uh, you know, you take a look at the, a lot of the different players in the county. And I missed two of the free throw there. But uh, they missed the first and made the second. And it was... I forgot to write it down there. There she go. Who shot the free throws, man? Who shot the free throws? Minute five remaining, 57-39. We'll get it figured out here. Putman back out front. That is Schubert between the circle, top of the key. Wells screened by Linder. And it rolls those out of bounds. It'll be South Fulton. Wilson? Schaefer. Or Schaefer. Okay. Between four of us, I knew one of us would get it. 53 seconds. I can't, I haven't been able to do the three thing thing, you know, we'll talk right and look at you. <laughs> well, we got some work to do then. <laughs> I'm working on it though. My shoulders are killing me from carrying you. 50 seconds left in our game. Top of the key now, wing right with the possession. That's Aaron Lascellis. Another turnover. Turnover by Lady Rebels. 15. Now the pack here, they did a really good job in the first half. They did too. At the game plan here, Harley Barnard squares up, comes up short with a shot she in the knew, lineup. She knew that as soon as she released it. Wells, a guard to the near side with 24 seconds. Pull-up jumper, looked like the ball was deflected. And uh, last touch by South Fulton after they missed by Nicole Wilson. 18 seconds remaining in this one. Lady Giants 
Going to get out to a 4 nothing start to the season. South Fulton going to be dealt their first loss. But they are going to be a pretty good they are. team to deal with within the conference. Last six seconds of this one. Lady Giants will make it back-to-back -back with the county titles. They win it tonight. 57-39 as they defeated the South Fulton Lady Rebels in the county tournament championship here on this Saturday night. Congratulations to Coach Langhoff and the squad. 57-39, nice work this week from the uh, girls in capturing the title tonight here at Spit River Valley. Post game show, we're straight ahead after this two minute timeout from Valley. Here we go, we're gonna, we're gonna make some juice. It's gonna be good. She's excited. A little bit of kale. Please don't put this on line. I'm putting it all over the line. It's wet, it needs something. No, it'll go. Don't break my juice there. Looks good. You ready to try it? Come on, baby. Try Challenge it. your kids to be active and eat healthy. It's okay. Okay, like all right. They might surprise you. I actually took another sip. You saw it? Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. The five and the Can't Lady Giants 57-39. All tourney selections, uh, Chloe from Canton. Uh, Lewistown, again, had a pair with uh, Mallory Battefeld, Sydney Legrand. South Fulton, Katie Perry, and Summer Bagard as well. And I think you can easily mention with Hubert uh, in that category, Bob, I think uh, I think she really played fantastic uh, each of the games. She was a key catalyst, had 13 points tonight. And uh, you take a look last night, and when he had uh, 10 points last night, she figures. Also, uh, as you take a look, Schubert had nine. So those are the kind of the final numbers there. And uh, when you had mentioned also uh, with North Fulton, Jordan Maxwell. Yeah. We might figure in there as well. Those are a couple of people that you know, it could have been, you know, put into that category with this alternate selection. Canton wins it by a score of 57-39. And uh, we'll run down the scoring. We'll get to our in-game stats. Figure that out. Take a quick one-minute break. And back to Valley to wrap up our county girls uh, finals tonight. It's up next. It's brought to you by Joe's Place in Norris. For casual dining, visit Joe's Place, open 3 to 8, Tuesday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Sunday. We'll have our in-game stats, final scoring numbers, and an interview with the head coach. All that for you coming up on the Lady Giant post-game show. You're on the it's back in 90 seconds. Back here wrapping up, uh, Lady Giants win at 57-39. Lady Giants finish at four. South Fulton three and one. Third place with the Lewistown at two and two. Farmington at one and three. Fulton at zero oh and four. The all tourney team selection: Cantons, uh, Chloe Churchill, Lewistown, Mary Bettafield, Sydney Lebrand from Lewistown, South Fulton's Katie Perry and Sarah from South Fulton. Final numbers tonight, scoring wise: the Lady Giants are 57, 14. Chloe Churchill had eight in the first half. Big game for Mariah Hedges tonight. She uh, set the tone in that quarter with the, a three-point shot, a couple of field goals. Again, eight in the first half, 12 in the game. Sydney Schubert off the bench tonight. Another key part of this uh, Lady Giants offense. 13 of the game for Schubert. Uh, Katie Wilson tonight. We had progression tonight from Katie Wilson. Also uh, tonight, so key inside play. That's another big part of this uh, game. Uh, Katie Wilson with eight points. Game Morgan Coomer had a basket for two. Mel Turgeon a basket for two. Sarah Linder with again a field goal for six. Again the Lady Giants on the night just shot four free throws out of four on the evening for the Lady Giants after shooting 101 for the first time. So that's quite a differential than what we saw in the early going. So you got to find other ways to make points up to do that in the third quarter. Yeah, that third quarter was really big as far as the outcome of this game. And, you know, I agree. Maybe one night you're going to go to the line 50 times like we've seen before. Another night we're going to go five. You have to adjust. Yeah. One thing we've shown we can do early good point. in the season. Yeah, good point there. South Fulton tonight, uh, 16 from Katy Perry. Kylie, six. Abby Schaefer with five. Summer Bagard, six points tonight. Uh, Mackenzie Pilger and Hannah Krukwit with four points. You know, you, you talk about doing a good job defensively on 
Bagard. I think that was a key situation, being able to control both of them. Didn't let Kraus get in that threes tonight. Uh, they had some other good players. They just didn't have production-wise. I thought, you know, Schaefer played well. Crew quit. Did a pretty good job. Did a pretty good job on the boards in the first half. We were able to overcome that. Yeah, you know, and I think the fact that, you know, a lot of the looks they took, we contested that shot. And, you know, it didn't, you know, create, not making any shots. But when you have to alter your shot, you're so used to taking it a certain way. It really affect the outcome of whether you're going to score or not. It really showed adjustment-wise in the second half. Game stats with Bob are up next. It's brought to you by Ryan Yon State Farm Insurance in Lewistown, providing every insurance of a this is called Brian, 547 Bobby, let's look at the final statistical and then we'll wait to visit with the head coach Lang Langhoff after this quick timeout. Uh, we'll take uh, this. The stats there, Bob, and we'll take a break after this. Uh, In-game stats with uh, Bob are up next. All right, Langhoff, the top the Rebels shooting 15-60 from the floor, 25%. 0 for 6 in their three-point. 9 of 18 in three points. 45 total rebounds, 18, 15 total turnovers. The Camp Lady Giants shooting 26, 63, 41.3%. 1 for 17 in shooting threes, 6%. 4 for 4 in free throws, 100%. 42 total rebounds, 9 offensive, 13 total turnovers. Two other ones that have points off turnovers. Lady Rails with 10 with 20. Another big one we got is one thing. Lady Rose have 18. Lady Giants have All right. Let's take a look at the final numbers again. The Lady Giants won the county title tonight. 39 over South Fulton. Canton goes to 4-0. South Fulton at 3-1. Coming up for you, our next broadcast will happen right after Thanksgiving. Coming up on Friday, the November the 29th. Moose Hart, 7.30, Canton takes on Manual. We'll be playing the Canton Manual game that will be on Friday night, the 29th. Saturday session will begin at 11 o'clock in the morning. Delavan will be against Manual. That will be a pretty good game there. Uh, 12.30, Canton takes on Moose Hart. Session 3 on Saturday, November 30th, 6 o'clock, Manual, Moose Hart. And at 7.30, Canton Lady and Delavan. And the, again, the start of the uh, tenure of uh, Jay Murphy as the head the basketball coach begins on November 29th. Good luck to uh, Jay and the school as well. And again for South Fulton, uh, they have uh, games coming up. They will take place Monday. They will play at home against West Prairie. They got a couple of other games before they get to the uh, Beards. So they got a busy December as well. So those are some of the things that we talk about in regards to upcoming games Canton and is headed our way. We'll visit with uh, Coach Langhoff after the timeout. Camp 57, South Fulton 39. Back after this one minute timeout. Up next, our interview with the head coach, Lane Langhoff. It's brought to you by Central Illinois Loans. Cash all needs from my Central Illinois Loans, 435 South 5th Avenue, or call 476663. Battle tonight between Two teams, Canton girls prevail, 57-39 tonight. Coach Langhoff is with us. Uh, Coach braved away tonight. They, I knew they were a tough opponent, and they lived up to that tonight. They did what they had to do rebounding-wise in the first half to stay in the game. Tough. Guys. Yeah, absolutely. And we, we talked before, uh, right before we went out, I said, I know some of you have been here watching the tournament and seeing their scores, but said, you can, you know, throw all that, you know, common opponent stuff out the window. I said, but. 3 and 0 both teams are playing well um, and they you know they'd obviously had some close games to begin we knew that it was probably going to be close again and, um, it was good to see we it, that obviously the score was much closer um, than the game was closer than indicated and it was it was good to see the kids in a tight game for three and a half quarters um, step up to the challenge 24 10 advantage in the third quarter that kind of turned the tide look got a little bit of fatigue I thought they did in the thing a little with the basketball, and you guys were able to take advantage of those situations and overcoming a night where you didn't really go to the free throw line. We, Bob talked about that being a point. At some nights you're going to go there a lot of times, sometimes you're not, and we were able to uh, you know, do that. Well, and, and uh, 
to the first point, three games for them, you know, that's not a great advantage for the two seed, but um, but yeah, we talked at halftime. You know, one of our three keys we talked about uh, that we drew three fouls against a man to man. I think a lot of it is we took um, we took tough shot, tougher shots. They forced us to tougher shots, and we had been uh, been shooting. Um, and and honestly, they they fouls very well on their drives. They you know had a good base. They went up and, and uh, it was uh, uh, you know if we only drew a few fouls, we'd have really were going to have to shoot the ball well in the second half. And, and obviously that third quarter uh, was was big offensively for us. You know, tonight, you know, it really comes in as you over 20 and it kind of kept in check a little bit. They did a pretty good keeping an eye on her tonight. The right edge is though, that was really key early. Knocked down some key shots. Got a little bit of confidence going. Got the confidence again with the city shooter. Could have been the, the, the changer in this thing for you, hasn't she? I mean, has a, uh, the ability to change the game for you. Yep, and um, she, she's, you know, she's one of the two or three kids very, very athletic. Um, you know, she's she's made great strides. You know, in the last season as a freshman, and um, you know she's she's contributing from the perimeter now. You know, she's she's still you know her her strength is getting to that basket fouls, but you know we found her on the pass a couple times, and she you know, has a bunch of confidence right now and, and taking that 12. She was key in that, in that run in the second or third quarter. Out. Was Sarah Linda with, 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 with to see Sarah's had a smile on her face and get a couple baskets? Yeah, tonight. I told uh, Coach when the coach went down. I said that's probably the best quarter I've seen Sarah mm -hmm. play in a long time, and it's it's good for her. She just, uh, you know, she two of the four games she got saddled with fouls and really never got into the flow, and, um, and she's comfortable facing up from you know 12, 15 feet. Um, so I. I uh, to see her contribute and be and be a part of that big run was was good for her. I think to be really successful to get to that next level, it's going to have to be the contribution from Wilson and Wendell. Right? Because you got the other kind of facets of the game. That interior play is going to be a, a big deal. Yeah, and that's, you know, something we've lacked over the last few years is a consistent scorer. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, Katie had a great tournament. Um, you know, she she posted she caught it deep. She got her. She's still a good passer out of that. That she, you know, made weak side passes to get. To um, yeah, and, and the four seniors, Ford uh, and, and Mel, and, and you know, Mariah was probably the, the best mm -hmm. of the offensive players, but they just uh, the seniors. They just they work hard, and and uh, you now these young kids. Can for us, and it, that was a positive for the for the whole team to you know to, to get kind of got a week off or so to get this started. Uh, you go to Macomb, coming up in that one week. And, uh, yeah, so we, pretty good uh, coming Monday, up there. Wednesday, Dave. Saturday, and I know this changed a couple of times. I hope you guys get yeah. the right one. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's it's, you know, it's going to be nice to have some time. We'll uh, have a late practice a couple nights this week and let the boys go before their first. Um, we'll, we'll actually get more time off at Thanksgiving than we do at Christmas because of our schedule. Um, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna work hard the next uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then uh, give them off and uh, try to regroup for the next week. Well done. Good uh, job. Thank you. Four Thank games. you again for being here. Yeah, forward to it. So it's a nice schedule change there for us. And I'd like to get the thing started off. And I think we're going to do a lot of 18, 20 games. We're going to come to the tournament. So. Lots of uh, Lady Giant basketball coming yeah, up here, well, so looking forward. It, it's a good product. I know the kids work hard. Um, looking forward you know, to it. Nice to get yeah. rewarded on the scoreboard. Absolutely. Thank you very Have much. Have a good time. Yeah, we appreciate, appreciate it. You Thank too. you. Sure. You, you even got the extended family, right? Uh, you got an extended family. Yeah. Washington and a couple other people. Uh, yeah, uh, we, <laughs> yeah, we had 14 people in the house because of uh, the disaster. His buddy from high school, five girls, and it was... Eventful, um, to kids, but it's still 14 kids and or 14 people and eight girls. Some team there, man. Oh, he's got a whole team of girls. It's uh, and they're all off the growth chart, so it could be trouble years at Washington. Hey, so. Congratulations, okay. Lane.
Good Thank job you. tonight, man. Appreciate it. Well, uh, wrapping up our post-game show, and again, our interview is brought to you by Central Illinois Loans. Cash for all needs, drop by Central Illinois Loans, 435 South 5th Avenue. Or call 647-6663. And again, we appreciate you tuning in tonight. Also for MX for Video Production, thanks for being on hand throughout the uh, Girls County Tournament tonight. All conference selections again, uh, Canton's Chloe Churchill, congratulations, Lewistown, Mallory Battlefield, Sydney Legrand, also from South Fulton, Katie Perry, and also Summer Bagard. Canton wins it. They go 4-0. They win it 57-39 tonight over, uh, again, a South Fulton team. I think it's going to be a very good basketball team. So at I think Lewistown as well, I think they make strides tonight. They get the inside play, Battlefield, Legrand. Uh, again, I think they make some progress tonight. Uh, we'll see Farmington in another week at uh, at Farmington for the girls game. That's on a night, December 4th. So those are the things that are coming up. Our broadcast schedule, we've got the Canton Tournament coming up on Friday after Thanksgiving. So hopefully we'll have uh, some success there as well to get things rolling. But a good uh, broadcast here uh, this weekend for everybody coming out. We get a big thanks to uh, Spit River Valley, North Fulton, uh, putting on the, the girls tournament tonight. We appreciate the, all the behind-scene folks there coming out as well. And again, for production, uh, Brian, our engineer back at the studios. Uh, Steph is also with us. And again, uh, I'm on Gripper. Winner tonight, Canton. Uh, again, cleans the, uh, comp- uh, the county tournament tonight. They win 57-39 over South Fulton. And everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Everybody in the family there, we appreciate you coming along tonight. Our post-game show season is brought to you by Joe's Place in Norris. For casual dining, visit Joe's Place, open 3 to 8, Tuesday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, and 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Sunday. Everybody have a safe drive home, and again, enjoy your Saturday get to tomorrow. Uh, Monocle's Pizza, and again, is offering the 20% off of their sales. Again, all the sales for 20% will go to, again, the uh, Red Cross and the victims. That's uh, going on tomorrow at Monocle's Pizza. That'll do it. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday night. All Canton, a victory tonight. 57-39 for South Fulton. Bob, I'm Leon. So long tonight. High School.